Oh, chosen one. What will you... I don't know what he says. Go forward with caution. Because we're going to do a lot of fighting. So, anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. A light beam will come down, and you're not going to be teleported out of the dungeon, but more upward, where a bell will be, and we're going to ring it with a grappling hook. So I've already got all the items equipped uh, that you need to do this. Uh, let me check my Odyssey real quick. Okay, it's keeping up. Hold on. Yeah, I just need to... Uh, oh my god. Okay, good. I just need to cut the edges around it. Uh, so there's our next heart container, and once you get in here, you'll be teleported upward, and then use the grappling hook to get on the bell. You'll open up the path to old Hyrule. You know, I'm enjoying doing this post commentary because, like, I was so tired when I did this part. Like, I was just leaning back in my chair going, Okay, now climb up here and then we can ring the bell. Like, I was just sounding so monotone. I was so tired. But, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm really happy right now. Like, I'm kind of peppy right now because, like, I don't know. I go to sleep at around 3 o'clock at night. <laughs> I stay up a lot during the summer, so... I have a lot of time to render these. Alright, so anyway, with that done, we can now head into Hyrule. Oh god, I'm so excited. I finally get to finish this game in just on in about a week's time, because this game is definitely long. I'm expecting it to take up to part 90. This is only like... I don't even know what part we're on right now. I'm guessing it's part about part 33 or 34. So, after this part, we'll be um, fighting the enemies, and then we'll go get the Battle of the Gales, and then we'll get the Pico Box, and I'll be done. Because I already have a plan on how I'm going to cut this, so... We should be in part... Let me see. Part... Okay, we're probably in part 35. I have no idea what part we're on right now. So, uh, this cutscene was kind of cool when I first saw it. Like, I was kind of, I was kind of like, oh god, Link through the drown, the game is over. And like, this would be awesome. I mean, I would have done the same thing where I would have thought, like, we're underwater, we're gonna have to hold our breath. I mean, I can't hold my breath underwater that long. I can hold it for about, I don't know, let's say, 15 seconds before I have to come up for air. But I cannot stand to have my eyes open underwater. I don't see how people do it. I just can't do it. I always have to have them closed. So I have to have a good sense of direction. Alright. So this is old Hyrule. As you can see, it's kind of frozen in time or whatever. Um, well, I guess it's safe to say the sword we're getting is the Master Sword. I mean, even the King will tell you that you're getting that. And we're going to be coming back here two more times. Once when we have Tetra with us, and another time when it, we have to go fight uh, Ganon. So, uh, that's uh, all we have to do, alright? Gonna pop my neck real quick. Oh, man. Uh, unfortunately, there's not enough time to explain. And, okay, now, I need to say this now. The puzzle that's going to be here, um... The uh, herald, where you gotta get the triangles into a into the triforce shape. I don't really know the best way to explain it. Um, I'll try my best when we get there. So let's just roll in here real quick. I remember one time <laughs> I actually went to first person. I'm like, "What you gonna do? What you gonna do?" <laughs> and I was like, I was, "I was just trying to be stupid." Um, if you look at that Zelda painting and look at the pirates, they kind of look alike. So that's kind of beginning to get some speculation. I've kind of mentioned it to some people, and they've been starting to do some research, and they kind of think it's kind of cool that hey. no one else has noticed that. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure someone else has noticed that the pirates look exactly like the the, the well, not exactly, but look similar to it. Like, if you look at uh, Nico, you can see him. You can see uh, the guy who does the lookout. You can see... Uh, I don't know if you can see Gonzo, but you can definitely see Tetra, which you'll understand later. And I'm going to probably get a lot of hate for this. I actually like how Princess Zelda looks in this game. I think it's the best design yet. 
Okay, now I'm gonna try my best to explain this. To get these things to go right, you need to get like on what side you want them to go on. This is not a hard puzzle at all. It's just that describing it is really hard. You have to really more. It's more feel in your brain than what it is anything else. Like, see how Link's just kind of doing that? Because that's what I'm imagining doing that. Like, see, I'm going to pull on the left side here. I'm going to pull it this way. And it's like the direction you want it to turn in, that's the side you want to grab. Because you can't grab it right in the center. See? I mean, that's the best way to describe it. I can't really describe it any other way. It's like, I was about to grab it here, but that would have been a bad mistake, so... Then I thought, okay, let's grab it here, and then you're going to be inside of it, and then the thing will go down, and then we'll go get the Master Sword. <sighs> I'm awake. <laughs> now I'm drinking this water, and it's really just waking me up. Oh man, and I am so going to lay down once I finish this. I don't know about you guys, but I've been having some bad back pains lately from the way I've been sleeping. Like, when I, when I was over at my grandparents, I was sleeping on their couch. And that really hurts my back a lot. And I'm going to show you guys something really cool here um, when we get the collar restored to it. But my back has been killing me these last couple of days. I have scoliosis, and just in case people don't know. If you don't know what that is, that means I have a S shaped spine. So. I don't have a straight spine. My sister also has the same condition, but she has it a lot worse than I do. But, anyway, here we go. We get to see an epic cutscene. Not as epic as Twilight Princesses. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. Although, I do like this part. It's like, we're finally becoming a knight. You know, it's like, we've been accepted into knighthood. That's what I've always imagined this, because like, this is kind of like medieval style right here. And, like, the entire room just goes like... And none of those enemies will be back. I really don't like this music. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. I mean, I like the Hyrule theme. But I think the best one was from A Link to the Past. But I've never beaten that game. I'm going to try and beat it, but right now I'm sure Mask is my current playthrough game. I always have to have a game I'm playing through or else I'm going to get bored soon. But, okay, I'm not going to say the same thing I said in Twilight Princess where I said we now have the Epic Blade of Epic Awesomeness. I'm just going to call it the Epic Blade. I don't know what I'm going to title this video either. Probably the Master Sword. Because I can't use the Sword of Evil's Bane because I used it in uh, I, I used it in Twilight Princess and I don't like to use the same title more than once. But sometimes I have to end up doing it. But that's enough about that. Uh, okay, we should be in the next part. So anyway, let me show you what I was talking about. And I get stuck here for some reason. Like Link gets stuck in an invisible wall. And I'm trying to get out and it's like glitching out. So then I come over here. Okay, as you see, there's a Triforce. But look up here. Um. There's Princess Ruto. You're going to get to see all the sages in stained glass. Uh, that's the guy that starts with an R. I don't know how to say his name. It's like Rareu. I don't have any idea. There's Saria. Um, there's Ganon. Do you see? There's Dar... Uh, I, I forget it. Dramania. I think that's his name. Over there's Imp Impa. And the... The Beru, I don't know how. Uh, yeah, there's Impa. I forget her name, the Garuda Thief. I forget her name entirely. But that was definitely my favorite dungeon the, of in Ocarina of Time, the Spirit Temple. That was by far the best one. Had the best music too. Um, I don't really like any of the dungeon music in this game. Oh, my absolutely least favorite is the uh, is the Earth Temple. I can't stand the Earth Temple's theme. I freaking hate it. But that's enough about that. Now we got to get into the fight. So now we're definitely in the next part by now. So you're going to be fighting a long time in here. And you're better off to take out the people up top first. And you can't leave here. This is a required section. It's basically you trying out your new blade. That's really all it is. And this is a good place to get skull necklaces and stuff. So I recommend having the boomerang and the grappling hook equipped. 
The boomerang to stun enemies when you need to, because right here I'm going to take out a bunch of these guys right here, and it's not even going to be a problem. I like he's like, <laughs> I love that. I really wish there was a uh, finishing move in this game, uh, like there was in Twilight Princess. I'm sorry, I, I love Twilight Princess way too much. Uh, but I really wish there could have been a finishing move. This game really needed it, because it got so annoying on how, like, your enemies would fall and you